Hey folks, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to reset your laptop, make it like brand new. This is going to be covering both the MacBook and the Windows laptops that you may have for a 2024 guide, latest updates. So I actually am resetting the M3 Pro MacBook as well as the ROG X Flow that I've made in my previous videos. And we're gonna be walking through step-by-step -step how to do it on each device, starting with the MacBook first and then the Windows laptop second. Starting off with the MacBook, when you open the system preferences, navigate to general, you will see a erase all contents and settings. Alternatively, you could search for reset in the search bar. And once you bring that up, put in your Mac OS password. It will then guide you to this erase all contents and settings. Now I had already signed out an Apple ID. You could click this button and it will start the procedure. Most of the time people tell you to use sign out an Apple ID and remove find my, that is not necessary as once you do this setting, if I had not done that previously, it would have asked me to turn it off and also to sign out. So really all you have to do now in 2024 at the time of this recording is just erase all settings, put in the password. And as I mentioned, this is gonna showcase the Windows and MacBook procedures. This was done on the 2023 MacBook Pro. The MacBook actually resets significantly faster as you'll see later in the video, and I'm going to, of course, cut the video up because there's no need to show everything. I uh, will just say that the MacBook resets fairly quickly, while as the Windows laptop takes onwards of up to 20 minutes or so. Now, during this procedure, you may have this come up. It will ask you to activate the MacBook in which if you are connected to Wi-Fi, you simply just select the Wi-Fi network of your home network and it will appropriately connect and activate the MacBook during the reset procedures. After doing the activation and some quick loading, you will be granted to the hello screen, which lets you know that the device is ready to be set up again. Or if you're returning the device, you can now go back to the store and return it in this state. So now let's take a look at the Windows operations for doing the same thing. So now let's take a look at how it's done on a Windows PC. This was the latest ROG 14 that I had reviewed. And if you search on the Windows search and reset, you will get to the recovery options where you have the options to keep your file or remove them. If you're returning this device, I recommend to delete everything and the cloud and local install should not matter which setting you do. You will need to plug in your PC for this. And after you do so, it will finally give you one last setting or chance to cancel in which it tells you what your options were when you selected it. So in this process, I found it taking significantly longer than a MacBook, but in the end, you will be able to have this PC in a state to give to someone else and or to return to the shop with all of your files deleted. So you will not have to worry about that. And if you were setting your laptop because you are running into bad performance issues, you may find that resetting Windows, especially on Windows 10 or Windows 11, will get you some speed boosts as well. So depending on your manufacturer, I'm showcasing here a device by Asus ROG. You get multiple reboots, but essentially you will eventually get to the Windows 11 landing page. And this is the state in which you can return this device to the um, appropriate shop that you bought it from and or give it to someone or just reuse it yourself if you're setting up as a new laptop to have that performance gain that I mentioned. So that is all, folks. Hopefully by following the instructions, you have been able to successfully reset either your MacBook or your Windows laptop. These were done on 2023 laptops, the M3 Pro, MacBook Pro, or the Asus ROG, which are the latest devices that I'm using myself for BlendLogic Tech. I am considering actually getting the M1 Max or the M3 Max for a future YouTube video. So if you have a suggestion of what you'd like to see next on the channel, um, I do have some considerations of the next laptop I want to review, and I am looking for actually a device to keep long-term, which is why I am considering the M1 Max. If you have any questions on resetting your PC or any things you want to see on a Windows device, leave some comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hope your laptop is running like new, or if you had to return it, that all your files are gone and you could not worry about the security issues. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.